So a while back I uploaded a video on making softbox lighting in Blender. But the problem with that video was that it involved the use of nodes and gradient textures and it unnecessarily complicated things which could have been done a lot easier. So I've discovered a method which is a lot easier and is more flexible when it comes to creating soft lighting inside Blender. So here's a quick video, this is going to be a short one and uh, I'm going to show you how to make softbox lighting in Blender. So in the beautiful world of Blender, I have set up this scene and uh, you know, this one has a, this ball has like a really reflective material and I'm going to add in a light. Alright, I'm going to add in a light, make it point at that. There you go. And it's pointing that and uh, you know maybe increase it to 100 all right uh, so right off the bat what you can see is that the light in blender is very sharp all right it's gonna be sharp no matter what light you use all right uh, don't even use the sun <laughs> all right so uh, and increasing the size of the light is not gonna help it's just gonna create a bigger sharp reflection all right it's not gonna soften your reflection and the whole point of using a softbox is so that you get nice, soft and natural light on your model and not something like something sharp and, uh, you know, something that takes your attention away from the subject like this. So uh, what we did in the previous video was that we had a plane and uh, add with an emission shader and, you know, had it, uh, use some gradient uh, texture to smooth out the corners. All right. Uh, but here's a better way. Uh, so how softboxes work is basically that there is a light source and in front of the light source there is a sheet which diffuses the light and this diffuser makes the light soft. So all you have to do is add a diffuser material in front of this uh, light. Alright, so I'm going to add in a plane and uh, you know just rotate it like this. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to you know kind of match the orientation. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to send it to the front like this. Uh, Alright, and uh, you know, I'm going to add in a new material and I'm going to add and change it to a translucent PSTF. And instantly you can see that the light is a lot softer. I'm going to scale this up so you can see it better. You can see that the light is a lot softer. Make it point this way. Alright, cool. And uh, yeah, there you go. You got some soft, smooth lighting in Blender and uh, the the farther the uh, the diffuser sheet is from from the light source, you know you get even more you know smoother light. Uh, but as it gets closer, you get even more sharper light. So this is one thing that you need to know. And uh, you know you can even move this away from this, and uh, you get the same result. But another thing that you can do is you can parent this plane to the light, and now you don't have to worry about anything. You can move. The light freely wherever you'd like to move it and the plus side of this is that you know oh, it's this uh, if I go this side you can see that the light just follows the you know it just wraps around the object nicely and uh, it's, it's just more pleasing to look at and if I hide this you can see that the light is not really uh, like that it's just there it's just a sharp hard reflection which is just taking my eyes away from this all right but if i have this you know it, there's a it's a lot nicer to look at uh so this is a uh, scene that i made recently it's a uh, product render and uh, you know you can see that my lighting setup is basically entirely made of this uh now the thing is let me show you uh, just look at this reflection over here uh, this reflection if i zoom in over here you can see that it's really smooth and uh if I hide this, you know, this, uh, that diffuser thing, you can see that the reflection gets really, really, really sharp and uh, crisp. And now if I show you entirely, you can see that this, this reflection is kind of taking my attention away from the entire scene. And I don't want that. But adding this diffuser sheet in front of the light really creates this nice looking smooth soft light which you know increases the general appeal of the whole product or the uh, object and also makes it a lot more pleasing to look at you know this is a nice um, you know it's supposed to be a smooth scene if i remove all of these you can see that it just looks nasty with reflections and uh, you can see that it's not nice 
So, uh, you know, that's the use of soft boxes. So, uh, yep, that is it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys this uh, small trick and, uh, you know, I'm, I hope it helps you, you know. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up uh, so that more people can find it. And also let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you want to see more good content from me, please give my channel a subscribe and, you know, that would really support me. That would really help me and support me and encourage me to make a lot more videos like this. Alright, so uh, with that said, bye. I will see you in the next one.